and here we are to the last video of our blog series so today we are going to take all the things that we built and we are going to optimize this blog for seo so we are going to use structured data from schema.org using the nux seo package we are also going to include some titles some metadata and mainly we are going to build our own og image that is fully customizable you can define it using a plain next component and you have full control over it we can just jump right into it so what we want to do is whenever we are inside a blog page we want to make this page optimized for seo so we want to just put some seo data the title the description the author but we also want to use structured data to actually tell search engines specifically google how uh, we should let's say render and what actually this piece of content is about to do that we are going to use uh, nuxt seo that we installed before so if we go to nuxt seo we have this schema.org package we are going to use this uh, thing uh, to actually make our blog seo ready you can check the documentation but let's say uh, if you follow me it's going to be very very straightforward and fairly easy uh, i'm also going to link in the description the uh, full documentation uh, you have tons of uh, if you go here you go to schemas here you can also search for example for article you can see that you have all the possible schema but just keep in mind that only few of uh, these are actually taken into consideration by search engine you can check which one here uh, if you go to supported nodes you go into the next seo documentation schema.org supported nodes you can check that these one are actually the nodes that are mainly taken into consideration uh, for the rich results in Google. You can see here. So we just gonna use some of these, specifically the article. So to do that, we go back to our blog page. Uh, we have all this data here available. So we can just define for the sake of readability, uh, a function called update meta. We are going to run uh, right away at the root of our script. Inside this function, we are using the use schema or uh, composable. It's going to take an array of possible schemas. And the one that we are using is exactly the article so we can use the define article schema uh, coming from nuxtschema.org we can start defining our structured data to do that the first thing we uh, are including the headline which is coming from the title of our blog our description again all this data is coming from the metadata of our blog post and uh, you have tons of possible elements here article inside the schema you have all these uh, possible uh, fields that you can provide of course only few are going to actually have an impact for the rich results on google so we are just going to uh, insert actually the one that are uh, useful so we have our headline the description then we have of course our image which is going to be the data dot value dot thumbnail then we're going to have the date published which we need to format so we are going to use the js to format the date in this format which is recognized by the uh, schema.org then we are going to have some keywords and then we are going to have two entities so one is going to be the author and we can use the defined person coming again from schema.org we can just give it a name and this is going to be the data dot value dot author some description and then the image author avatar we can hit save and then we need to have another entity which is the publisher in this case this is uh, different uh, because the author is actually the one who wrote the blog post but that's a nice chance that the author is different from the actual publisher meaning the owner of the website we are going to use some metadata that i just added into this app.meta.ts in the root of the app folder in which i just specify some data about myself and about this template but of course you can customize even this file or just customize here so here we are going to define a new person like this we are using this metadata from here while the writer of the article is the one coming from the metadata of the actual article you could also here define an organization you can see here uh, if your web application is coming from a SaaS and you have a, an organization and you are publishing blog posts uh, from different authors you can also use this schema right here and you have all the possible fields that you can use in this case for the sake of the tutorial we are just going to define a person again this thing is i'm using app meta because like it's it's very useful to have the metadata for uh, yourself and for the project in general inside a single file so you can just 
uh, include uh, this file wherever you want like this and just use this metadata. So consider, for example, you have the name of the application. Uh, you do not want to hard code it in strings, so you can just define it here and then just import this file and access the name of the application or the author or the URL or whatever you want. So we have our publisher, hit save. Everything should be fine for the moment. So if we go here on a blog post and reload, everything works correctly. And now if we hit F12 and go to the elements, Inside the uh, body, we have the script type application LED.json. You see here, we can open this and we have all of our schema. So you see here that we have the schema for the article that we just added and we can check that everything is correct. We have the headline, uh, we have the description, we have the thumbnail, which is good. Uh, of course, this is one is coming from the localhost, but in a deployment state, it's, it, it will come like for the correct uh, URL. Then we have our keywords. We have our main entity of page, which is correct. The publisher, also our author, which is linked by the ID. And it's this one. Here it is. We can also see that we have some schema already implemented. So, for example, we have this uh, website structured data this web page and this is coming directly from schema.org that automatically set up this stuff for you but we can improve this a little bit to do that we need to go into our configuration for Nux. this section called site the name of the application so it's going to be appmeta.name then we have the url and then the default locale we can also give it as uh, n a new section called schema.org identity person and it's going to be passed as appmeta.author we need to import this define person so we can just import it from here hit save it's going to reload everything because whenever you save the configuration is going to reload everything we can also just stop and run again it's gonna give some error because yeah it's not fine this app meta we need to define it like this app dot app meta yes and of course one thing is inside this app meta i'm defining the url you see here this url from nuke config should not contain a path because i'm using uh, for the url of the site uh, just for the sake of the tutorial, the GitHub URL for this repository, which is not correct. In this case, you should have here the correct domain of your application. So in this case, it should be just like this. But in this case, just for the sake of the tutorial, this is fine. Just remember to change this whenever you are actually shipping a real product. And of course, like there's a tons more stuff to talk about SEO and schema.org. And I will probably make a new video about this. But in this case, we just want to make this blog uh, SEO ready and uh, like leave all the other stuff of schema.org for another day. Okay, we have this thing running. We can go here, hit reload. And now we can see on the right that we should have our structured data correctly displayed. So we see here that we have also this person that is going to be linked, which is coming from the identity that we had that year inside the schema.org. So right now our blog is very very SEO ready you can see that we have a lot of structured data and also we have the correct uh, title here uh, we should just put also the description so if we go back on our code inside the id here we just added the schema.org that's fine now we need to define some SEO meta and inside this meta we are going to give it some title which is going to come from the title of the blog post and some description of the blog post. We just have the title which is correctly displayed so you see here perfect we are going we also have like description so if we go to the head we look for the description we have the OG description uh, correctly set to description of our blog post. If we go back and just switch blog you can see that it correctly changes everything is fine. Now the last thing we want to do is just add a Nodge e email uh, to our blog post which is the image that whenever you share this blog is going to actually be displayed as the link image to do that we need to create an OG image and we are going to use again if we go here uh, to the Nuxt SEO we are going to use this OG image package right here you can use uh, different templates and stuff, but we are going to define our own template so you have more control over it. So back to our code, we are going to create our custom OG image. So inside the components folder, just create a new folder called OG image. And inside here, you can give it the name article. This one here is going to be our component for the custom image. And we are going to use OG image from Nuxt SEO 
which is going to take this component and render it dynamically into an OG image, which is extremely cool. I'm going to start with some template uh, for a custom OG image that I already implemented, which is going to be this one. Uh, so this is uh, some code that is going to uh, basically render the timeline on the right. There are some constraints when defining OG images with custom components. So for example, you can use Tailwind classes, but you cannot use uh, colors coming from Nuxt UI. So you cannot define primary, uh, secondary, warning this kind of stuff so you have to kind of uh, r code let's say the colors into it but if we hit save at the moment we can go back to our id and then tell the system to use our og image and to do that we can simply paste this code right here use the og image article you see here og image article give it thumbnail the title some outer stuff there are the props inside here we can hit save and now everything should be uh, correctly set up and if we go back to our page we have a very cool feature coming from nux this is why i love nux you can go down you can see here you're going to have the developer tools you can click here and it's going to open this page where you have all the all the stuff you scroll down you have this og image you can just click this it's going to bring you to this window right here you're gonna have on the right all the data and you see here that this is the og image that we are rendering it's going to dynamically uh, get the thumbnail for uh, the blog post which is extremely cool also the title and the name of our application together with the author and and the outdoor avatar you can render in different ways if you close this and just change the blog so you go here you can just open and you see that this is dynamically adjusted we can also style this a little bit so what we can do is just change the color of the background for example and maybe just change the color of this thing right here but as i said just remember that you cannot use uh, primary colors and stuff like that so if you want to just to exactly use primary color you have to r code it so if you change it you have to change it so my uh, suggestion is just to keep the most neutral color possible that you can inside this uh, og image so they are going to basically fit with whatever theme you are using in this case what i want to do is just change a little bit uh, this thing so uh, specifically i do not like the white theme here you can change the background to a certain back slate like this you see that the color has changed but now we need to change the text put some text uh, white it's safe and now we have our uh, Noxt OG image and you can also for example change the color here we can for example just take the color of Noxt like this uh, I'm just showing you how you can customize uh, this OG image if we go here we have this app meta.name so we can just use text with this color right here hit save and now we have our image with the color styled up so this is how you style up your images I'm going to just uh, keep it like this so you can just change it you have a solid baseline that automatically adjusts with the uh, data from the blog post you see here this is very cool you can just customize uh, this is uh, basically plain HTML you just have to remember that you have some limitation when coding OG images and you can find these limitations if you go to the Nuxt OG image here and then you go down to styling you can see here you have some constraints on the layout uh, you have some inline styles sub tag supports so basically just read through this and understand which are your limitations we are done with our blog now we have our blog that is fully SEO optimized we are using structured data SEO data we also defined our own OG image that you can customize however you want because it's a, just a plain Nuxt component I really hope this was useful for you feel free to use uh, the template that you find in the description for any of your project I'm of course going to improve this template over time like every tutorial I do I'm going to just enhance this template and add new features you find all the links in the description and if you want to see something very particular you can just write in the comments i will read them and then probably do new videos about the stuff that you suggested that's it for today's and cheers